everyone and welcome to another Doctor Who in real life video where I like to take something from the fictional universe of the very popular long running British TV show Doctor Who, also known as the Hooniverse, and see if it can actually be created in theory or practically, looking at what is physically possible and whether or not we have the technology to recreate such a thing. So you have obviously read the title of this video and looked at the thumbnail. In this video I am talking about the sonic screwdriver and sonic probes. Now this is probably the most iconic handheld device the Doctor is associated with throughout most of the almost 60 years of the running of the show. It's not unique in the Hooniverse in terms of its technology though, even being criticised as primitive technology by even 51st century residents of Earth, as well as the name screwdriver. I'm not going to go into too much of the historical side of the device, but just looking at the functions, the materials it is made out of and so on. In the Hooniverse, the Time Lords and Gallifrey invented the sonic screwdriver and other sonic probes, and it is shown that a TARDIS is able to create them straight from its console, upgrading the hardware but usually keeping the same software in terms of functionality and appearance over time. Other individuals have also been known to create sonic devices without assistance from Gallifreyan technology or Time Lords, such as 51st century folk from Earth. So it seems like the Doctor Who writers believe it is a technology that will at least be invented at some point by the human race. An alternative version of Amy Pond also created a sonic screwdriver from scratch, with the materials she had available on Apple Aperture, though this could have taken decades to make making use of the free time she had there and the alien technology available to her. Inside the Hooniverse, it is said that the Earth technology from as early as the 21st century could create a sonic screwdriver with the help of Stenza technology, though be warned this is from the Chris Chibnall era, the same era where a Dalek managed to recreate its casing and have inbuilt missiles within it, all from a bit of Sheffield scrap metal and in a, such a short amount of time. But back to the screwdrivers. Let's start to look into what the sonic screwdriver can do. It can pick locks, detonate certain objects and ruin electronic circuitry and computers. It is also able to scan electronic systems like computers and have some medical related scanning properties. From what I can tell there is most likely some kind of psychic link between the sonic probe and the user making a whole lot of sense as the TARDIS technology is telepathic. Most of these abilities relied on sonic sound waves, so on the surface it seems like quite a stretch for it to be applicable in real life. So the first main point of a sonic screwdriver. So the first main point of a sonic screwdriver is that it can pick locks, right. Sound can indeed move physical objects at the right frequencies, but there is little evidence of using sound to pick a lock in the real world. The technology seems theoretically possible, but maybe not for at least a hundred years or so. I'm not an expert. Again, it would suggest that there would need to be a telepathic element to the device, as the doctor often says point and think, so that the levers inside the lock would move in the right order and the right way to unlock the mechanism. Next point I want to look into is the detonation ability that the sonic has. We know that sound waves can make objects move and vibrate in the real world, so I would agree that it could make bombs explode also, and other objects. If so much sound energy was concentrated in something like a computer for example, then I could definitely see a certain amount of sonic waves cause it to explode. If you wanted to fly or float light objects from a distance, you would need standing waves, which have been demonstrated in the real world, known as acoustic levitation. If you wanted to do more than levitate objects in real life, you would need different sound waves, a science which is currently being worked on. I won't get too much into the boring sciencey bits, but the acoustic waves would need to be shaped a bit like a spiral or like a DNA double helix. This kind of sound wave would, in theory, be able to turn a screw, and a demonstration was actually made that turned a disc 
and absorb the wave's rotational mo momentum. We know that some opera singers in real life are able to break glass in order of matching the pitch or frequency of the glass as long as it has some defects, so there must also be a way of altering the frequency output of the sonic device. And we see in several episodes that the sound we hear from the sonic device changes in pitch. So that definitely seems more plausible than some other things I've talked about so far in this video. As for the scanning of certain technology, I don't see that finding the right kind of sound frequency can hack a computer device, for example to show a specific type of information. Although today's AI technology could pretty easily be manipulated with sound waves, as that technology is basically already built into devices such as Apple's iPhone Siri, Alexa and Google for example. But for systems not programmed to intentionally respond to audio, I don't see it being possible. Other abilities the Sonic has is that it needs recharging, can output sound and emit a light, which are probably the most likely things a Sonic screwdriver ever can do, obviously, as there are toys and props in the real world that can do this. The Sonic screwdriver is able to produce a homing signal and repair itself when broken, which is pretty remarkable. We have acoustic homing in real life, which uses acoustic signatures and sometimes sonar in order to guide objects towards each other. It would seem that the entire sonic device has a certain acoustic signature to it, and that when broken apart, the device is able to pick up these signatures and home onto them. It does theoretically seem plausible, as long as the other technological requirements of the screwdriver are already possible that I've mentioned. I came across a YouTuber that was able to modify a sonic screwdriver, most likely a toy, in order to operate certain electronic doors within his workplace. This most likely uses an RFID chip or something similar and is obviously not operated using the output of the sound. I'll link the video in the description down below as it is quite cool to watch. So in conclusion today, I would say that for the most part, a sonic screwdriver or probe seen in the Doctor Who universe does not seem possible, at least with the technology of today, and if it was we'd have heard it by now. But who knows, there are definitely some theoretical possibilities in the technology for the future, and we have created some impressive sonic screwdriver-like mimicking in recent years, ones that use linearly focused sound waves in order to move objects around. A sonic screwdriver is known to not function around wood, but why is that exactly? Subscribe to my channel and who knows, Doctor Who knows, you might find out in the near future. Until next time my Whovian friends, thanks so much for watching, this is Sequence Dematerializing.